going to tell few words about the lifestyle modification followed by the medical management. So then diet control, exercise and stress free life followed by the uh, oral hypoglycemic agents. So if the patient's blood sugar is not under control with uh, OAD then we have to go for insulin. So mind to moderate diabetic status can be managed by diet control and exercise. Then if the control if blood sugar is not under control we have to add oral hypoglycemic agents. Then if it is not under control we can we have to add insulin. So in the, when we detect the diabetic patient in the early stage, it is better to control with insulin initially, then we can switch over to uh, tablets. So, uh, insulin, early insulin therapy will help a lot to the control of blood sugar in future. So, the early insulin therapy you should follow. Now I am going to talk about the lifestyle modification for the control of diabetes. Lifestyle modification is very very important for the control of diabetes and to prevent, to prevent further complications. Diabetic patients should follow strictly follow the lifestyle modification. It includes diet control, exercise and stress free life. So, the twenty percent of our blood sugar level can be reduced by diet, and another twenty percent by exercise, then another twenty percent by stress-free life. So, each and every patient, we should emphasize the importance of lifestyle modification, including diet, exercise, and stress-free life. What we have to advice repeatedly majority of our patients are not following diet control uh, no, excessive, not doing exercise so we have to repeatedly stress them to follow the strict lifestyle modification that is what we have to do first thereafter we have to go for the drugs and insulin therapy to talk about the diet control for the diabetic patients. So it is very important to follow the diet control for each and every diabetic patient. Uh, then only the patient can achieve the target blood sugar value. Now our South Indian food, we are taking more of carbohydrate diets. So carbohydrate diet should be reduced and now our setup, in our setup, we are taking 70% carbohydrate. It should be reduced to 50%. Then remaining 50% should be covered with proteins 25% and fat 25%. So in carbohydrate diet, we have to avoid totally avoid roots and protein diet. We can take plenty. Then. Fat diet limited quantity. Now I am going to talk about stress in the management of diabetes. So each and every diabetic patient should avoid stress so that the diabetic control will be better for in them. So stress-free life is, they should have adequate sleep, uh, adequate uh, rest, and they should avoid stressful work. They should avoid uh, concentrating more on their job. They should spend more time with their family and relax 
that is very very important for the uh, diabetic uh, control in a diabetic patient. So if they are having adequate, don't they have their adequate sleep, they will have a hormonal imbalance. In the early morning uh, surge is disturbed and they should not have the fasting blood sugar control. Then that is followed by uh, postpondial blood sugar also. I am going to talk about uh, a part of uh, the lifestyle modification uh, is exercise. So exercise is very very important for each and every diabetic patients. Exercise reduces 20% of our uh, blood sugar value. So we should advise our patients at least 4 km walk every day for half an hour. So if the patient cannot do daily exercise, they can go for at least 3 or 4 days in a week. That is very very important for the diet control. If the patient is young, they can go for jogging or running. Then they can play uh, sports activities and other things. So uh, young, young patients can have a brisk walk. Young, old people can have a moderate walk that will help the control of diabetes.